Do not worry. Folks, uh, welcome to a new episode of Do Not Worry. On this uh, almost World War III, we almost all died. The world almost went to crap. Uh, that, that was fun. Uh, Wajih Saad has ghosted me, folks. I reached out to Wajih asking to join his revolution WhatsApp group. Uh, we'll talk about that. Dr. Food is making his baby review food at the ripe old age of like five months or something. Uh, El Maestro can't stop copying Mr. Beast. Uh, Abu Hadi's new content has flopped and he's sad about it. Uh, Joseph Mereb has become a jackal's best friend, and we are ending the Birdalicious saga once and for all, folks. Uh, stay tuned. Before we get going, I would like to welcome a brand new patron, Ali Taha, a brand new blonde patron, Ali. Welcome to our Patreon family. Thank you for supporting us. And a clarification, last week I mentioned that Fat Phoenician had joined us, and I said, I don't know why he chose that name. Is he one of those guys that believes that Lebanese aren't Arabs or Phoenicians. He clarified. He sent me a message on Patreon. He's like, I would like to assure you, Anthony, I'm a proud <laughs> Arab. I am. A, the name is ironic. So fat Phoenician, we love you. Thank you for supporting us. Just clarifying, guys. He is an Arab. Mitna, uh, And with that, we'll thank some other beautiful patrons a little bit later on the show. But if you'd like to support us, subscribe to our Patreon. You know, it makes all the difference. It means, it means I can hire lovely interns to help out with the show. Uh, let's start off, folks, with World War Three. Almost happened. If you d by the time you guys watch this, it's going to seem like totally old news. It already feels like old news. But no, hey, it was exciting. It was a wild night. When did it happen? Sat uh, Saturday? Or Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. It already feels like forever ago. Sabah al -ahad, yeah. What were you guys up to? And I was just chilling with some friends. Then people started looking at their phones like, oh, shit, Iran is attacking. I need to go home. My parents are telling me to go home. Bunch of adults. Everybody panicked. I was like, God, this I was pretty chill about it. I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't mind. I've been through some bad stuff in the past. Like, no, okay. سمعني اك شيء انا واز اتورك كنت عم صور بتحت بام وانا عم صور دان هيك العالم سيطر فوق بشوف اربع صواريخ بالوقت اهو انا بيرسونلي تيك عرض حملت شنطتي بدي فيل دان بعدين انه هيك لك نو نديم كيب فيلمينج بيبل كلابينج ممنوع تفل العالم صار العالم كثير مهبيل سيقولوا فيجوالز فيجوالز وعم ينزل صاروخ علينا يعني فانو I had to stay. Like, no, you're judging. No, I'm, I'm crowd. Like, no offense to anyone who goes to Am, but like, you're partying. They're, they're not. They're gonna yeah. be on something. They're gonna be drinking. They're Lebanese like, nightlife people are. Yeah, worst. bro, trippy. And like, I, I, I'll probably find it cool. Maybe depends. You know what I mean? Bro, depends uh, what mindset you're in. And then I called my dad. So bro, I my parents. No one texted me. No one from my family, bro. No one asked me anything. <laughs> Where are you? Are you safe? <laughs> and they have. They know what's going on. They watch the news all the time. No yeah, one yeah. fucking cared, bro. Everyone I was with got at least a phone call or a text from a from a loved one. Nothing. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So we're in the same boat. Karin, uh, what uh, about no, you? I know my dad. I was out with my friends. And my uh, my dad he came in, he was like, "Shakl al wada mish mertih ta al bet." I was like, "Okay, what happened?" I, I didn't know what happened. And then my friend was like, "Yeah, Iran fired those drones." And he was like, "But it's gonna take like three hours after you saw So I think we're good for another while." <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> and, and for for those watching, if you're not aware of what happened, you know, basically the fear was be Lebanon in a sense. Hezbollah is a Iranian proxy. I guess you can consider uh, a subgroup of Hezbollah uh, of, of 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 Iran. Uh, the fear was that Israel would retaliate versus like uh, in Yemen and Lebanon and in Iran maybe because I'm not sure were rockets fired from Lebanon no, I, from uh, Iran just from Iran yeah. and nothing was fired from Yemen or from Lebanon uh, I, think yeah. I saw some conflicting reports either way uh, Hezbollah and, and, and Israel are exchanging rockets on the daily you fire wake it. but so, yeah, this attack was mainly by Iran because a few weeks ago Israel attacked the Iranian consulate in Syria killing like six Iranian diplomats including a very high ranking general so this was Iran's retaliation uh, and here's just like here's a tweet that just says like Iran basically justified this using uh, article 51 of the UN charter pertaining to legitimate defense so this was a legal defense by all means this was a, a a a completely legitimate defense obviously the western media is not representing it that way they're making it seem like iran is attacking israel out of the blue but surprisingly a lot of outlets are being honest about what this was uh what i the best thing to come out of this honestly is just watching all of these israelis panicking at the airport running for their lives being afraid i'm not gonna lie you guys don't have to stand by what i'm saying this I, this what I'm about to say, folks, only represents me. The interns have nothing to do with this. Uh, I don't think enough rockets were fired at Israel. <laughs> Not enough drones, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I live in Lebanon. The horrors we've seen here and the horrors I've been watching on my phone for the past six or seven months of what 
Israelis are doing to Palestinians. At this point, I feel no sympathy for, for these people, for this country. Obviously, no one wants to see innocent people dying or, or get hurt. To, but, us, to but, an extent, Diana. Yeah. <laughs> but I question how many innocent people exist in Israel. The more and more I hear these fuckers talk and I see their s posts on social media and the fact that the majority of the Israeli population doesn't believe that the IDF is using sufficient force against the Palestinians in Gaza. These people are fucking devils. And seeing them run for their lives in fear gives me some kind of joy that is hard to okay. describe. Mm, it tastes the satisfaction, so yeah, really It tastes so nice. It's so good. You know what I'm saying? Let's watch. Let's watch these fuckers. Okay. <laughs> fucking... Cowards, why leave the promised land? Shouldn't the chosen people be defending it? Yeah. Look at that man. As soon as something happens. I forgot no one died. No one died, no, no. It, who, who it was strategic. It? it was a very performative yeah. retaliation. Uh, they warned, it's been in the media for like five days. We're gonna attack you. And I forgot, I was like, this this has gotta be a bluff. Why are they like advertising their attack? Like when when it happened, I'm like, they're actually going through with this? Like I thought this whole thing was a bluff or yeah. something. I said that if 99% of the, of the missiles were- uh, Were shot down. Yeah, were intercepted. Yeah, bro, the Jordanian, bro, the Jordanian, bro, the Jordanian king almost killed his own people to protect Israelis. Like, he, like they shot down drones that fell like, in the middle of like cities that yeah. almost killed a bunch of people bro everyone is so cucked well, I think <laughs> <laughs> go back go back go back to go back to your country go back to New Jersey motherfuckers <laughs> go back to Boston <laughs> is this real? Oh, these screams. Music to my ears. Oh, one, one more time, one more time. Oh, you fuckers, man. Why don't you go? Those, bro, no, Aiden and Hashad, they go do raves next to concentration camps. We can't get rid of you fast enough. Uh, here is a, this is a very, just to show you how honestly amazing Lebanese people are. This was caught on a TikTok live moment of a bomb dropping in the south. Look at this dude's reaction. Our boy. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, not everyone has to laugh. It doesn't mean if you don't laugh, it means that you're a coward. Or something. We saw the other horrendous video like a few weeks ago of the TikTok live when the I'm guy's the house got bombed, so this could be horrifying, obviously. This is just, you know, just a nice little thing to highlight. <laughs> Finally, let's just look at, uh, actually, okay, here, this is something I find interesting. They asked people who live in, like, the West Bank what they think about the attack. And I know a lot of people, like, especially in the U.S. and in the media and, like, and Arabs living abroad have to hide their support for, like, the resistance or, like, around have to be like, no, no, we don't, we know, we, we... We don't want anything to happen to, to Israel. We just want we want the hostages to be safe. We want the hostages to be safe. You know what I mean? But some like we want our Palestinian brothers and sisters to be safer. So, anyways, I like the. Uh, it's nice to be reminded what the people in Palestine actually how they feel like, and I think their thoughts on the matter are the most important. <laughs> يعني كل احترام لكل واحد واي يعني مدينه وبلد واي شيء يعني اي دوله بتوقف مع المقاومه احنا بنشكر ايران على اللي قدمته لاخواننا في غزه وبنشكر ايران وبنشكر اليمن هذا العيد عند بالنسبه لنا واحنا بنشكر كل واحد بوقف مع المقاومه رايح شيء يعني شيء لا يوصف احنا ما صدقناش انه الصواريخ راح توصل لهون كان رد قوي من ايران يعني اسرائيل الله اقول لك احلى شعور يعني شعور لا يوصف يعني اقول لك عن جد ذا رايت بو اتس بيوتيفول مان سينغ اسرائيل جيتنج جست ا سمول تيست اوف ذير اون فاكينج ميديسن برو انا اي لاف اي لاف وين اي واتش ذيس از بيكوز لايك اي ام ا يو اس سيتيزن اف اي وير ان ذا ستيتس برو اي كود نوت سي اني اوف ذات يو ريلي هاف تو سنسر وات يو سي اي لاف جست ذا فريدوم اوف بينغ ابل تو سي فاك اسرائيل اي ويش ذي جات هيت وذ مور بومز وذ مور درونز فاك ذات كونتري اي هوب ات جيتس نوكد اي لاف بينغ ابل تو سي ذات with almost no consequences and living in a country where and the, but, you know like the US is supposed to be the country of freedom of speech and all of that shit bro you can't say fucking anything you can say whatever you want except when it pertains to Israel anyways James Maslow our good friend uh, 
He's back. He's back with another. We're not. It's it's really horrible. Ah, it's it's so bad. It's fine. We can laugh. He's got another one. Let's go. Let's go. Discount. J C. Chazé. Free Gaza. I'm not kidding. I do not want any. I hate what he's like. Now I promise. And why is like free Gaza? Like what? It's like, it's like it's he's kind of always not kidding. And it's, it's like, it's, it's this is, like a, is this a serious video, bro? Is this a serious video? The vast majority of Jews and Israelis don't want Gazan civilians to be hurt or civilian casualties for any reason. That's not true. The IDF goes out of its way to protect Palestinian civilians. That's not true either. <laughs> I really don't want to watch this. This again, this guy, this guy used to be on a boy band on Nickelodeon, and now Israel is paying him money to to make these dumbass videos. Enough about this whole Israel thing. Be careful. Be careful. God bless her brothers and sisters. I don't even love Iran as a country. You know, they're fucked up. They do a lot of fucked up shit. But no. Good, good going, boys. Even though it was all performative, nothing really came out of it. And Iran has like probably a backdoor deal with Israel. <sighs> What's next? Shufi, Shufi, Shufi. Joker 2. Let's talk about Joker 2. Have you guys seen the first Joker movie? Yes. yes. Starring uh, Joaquin Phoenix. He won an Oscar for his performance. What do you guys think about the, the first Joker film? I really liked everything, the cinematography, the oh, direction, and the directing, it was a, a new style of directing. Mm, new style. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'll, fuck, I'll fuck with you. Yeah. Uh, what, I liked what, what it you? too. Um, what, I watched it alone in theaters. It was an experience. It's the, be the best The best way to watch Joker is alone. You gotta yeah. go with yeah. full loner experience, <laughs> full Joker experience, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I don't the reason I left when you said new directing is because plus he actually ripped off like Martin Scorsese those movies from the 70s with Taxi Driver who, King of Comedy no, actually it was a recycling hey, it was like it was a huge homage to, and at one point Scorsese was going to be the producer on that movie I don't know what I thought about it when I first saw it I thought it was really overrated because everyone was like talking about it like yeah it's so fucking good I was like I mean this is good but I, I couldn't get the homages out of my head and it was kind of distracting like uh, I was focused on what he was going for rather than what he did but when I watched it a second time at home I was mesmerized by Joaquin Phoenix's performance. Like to me, the movie is that performance. He, it carries it. He carries it. He's amazing in it. Uh, he he more than deserves his Academy Award, I think, and he's he's amazing in it. So, I really did and and uh, like I ended up enjoying it. Uh, but they were never supposed to make a sequel. It was going to be a one and done. They were never going to make another one. But the movie had only cost, if I'm not mistaken, like fifty million dollars to make, and it made a billion dollars at the box office. And it's rated R, and R-rated movies very rarely make a billion dollars. So this one made it. It made a massive profit. So obviously they're going to get inspired yeah, to make a second one. Know. But the idea that they had to make a second one was very intriguing to me from the beginning. Like they were like, it's going to be a quasi semi musical, and they're casting Lady Gaga to play Harley Quinn. Like I was like, honestly, like if you're going to make a sequel to a movie that doesn't need a sequel go crazy and do something fucking batshit like crazy and unique like experiment like the marvel movies that's it they're in their formula they have to play it safe they're gonna make the same movie over and over again and i love marvel movies most of them like not almost none of the new ones are good but i know i it's like mcdonald's oh, no not mcdonald's it's like fast food <laughs> fast food who doesn't like a good fast food cheeseburger every now and then so come in now it's nice to get variety and I thought that Joker 1 was, 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 uh, was nice and like different. And now this one, the trailer just dropped. We can't play it because of copyright and stuff. So I thought the trailer was very nice. I wanted to hate it. I wanted to be like fucking Todd yeah, Phillips was, uh, trying to rip good. off something else again. But I honestly, it just has a lot of iconic imagery. Like, let me just pull up some of these pictures. So, for example, instantly I saw this in the trailer. I'm like, this, this could be a poster. Like, this is, th or this is like a beautiful comic book panel from like a crazy one-off a comic story you know it turned into a movie yeah. this is kind of iconic him and harley quinn going down the stairs like this is iconic him and I'm harley la la land a bit. just like dancing kind of like la la land it just looks really cool this this is like mirroring that shot from the first movie where he was in front of the mirror uh just that final shot of him looking like when she draws the the smile with the lipstick on the glass that, that's an iconic shot so as much as i didn't want to love this trailer i was like fuck it it looks really nice the movie's gonna have like 15 or 16 songs so it's it by is, all uh, means very much a musical. Yeah, it is a musical. Like that's confirmed. And but they're not going to be singing the whole time, man. Gonna, there's going to be like regular talking. They're not going to be like not the whole thing isn't like a pure musical like Les Misérables or something. It's going to be more like uh, Moulin Rouge or something where like Bihar then yeah. they sing a song. Bihar then they sing a song. So I'm curious. I mean, it might suck, but at least they're trying something different. We get so much of the same. Uh, big budget superhero movies like Khalas, like what, a, like for sure, let's fucking make. Yeah. And, and this is gonna bring in like an audience that would never see these movies. Like all of a sudden, musical crowds are gonna come in. You know what I mean? It's gonna have people that would never watch these movies. 
Lady Gaga fans are going to come in just to see what she does. And she's super talented. Like, she would make a crazy Harley Quinn. Did you guys, like, like the trailer? Um, uh, I like the trailer. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced uh, for Gaga's Harley Quinn. I don't know. Like, really? Um, her as an actress, she's a, she's a fine actress. She's not bad or anything. I've only seen her in uh, Star, Star is Born. I haven't seen her in, like, Ferrari or, House like, of Gucci. Uh, House of Gucci. Yeah, House of Gucci. House of Gucci. And I'm not to Much she, if uh, the projects she picked haven't exactly like been that good i don't know has up like i i'm gonna watch it and no, it looks fine like i mean it looks good yeah as you said everything you but said i mean it's the character I development think. but i think that the joker suits her my only concern is that they're gonna repeat like the same because normally in the comics harley quinn is like a psychiatrist and then like joker is able to like he drives her crazy essentially yeah. in this one it looks like she's a patient what I'm concerned is like in the first Joker, he meets this girl and they make you think that he has a girlfriend. Then it turns out it's all in his head and he's going crazy. Yeah. Part of me has a feeling they're doing the same thing in this movie. Like everything he's doing with, with Harley Quinn is in his head. And then at the end, it turns out that she's like a psychiatrist or something. And I just hope they don't redo the, that same thing. I hope that he actually does have a relationship with her. And like, it's just a different thing. I don't want to be wondering, is he just tripping the whole time? Like, I mean, that's kind of annoying. So anyways, I'm excited to see it. Took me by surprise. I wonder if you guys are excited. That shit, like, I mean, Martin Scorsese has something to do with Joker he, he, 2? He no? didn't do... He had nothing to do with either of them. Todd Phillips directed uh, the, He didn't produce it, no. Okay, he wanted okay. to. But so no, it's very much inspired by his movies. Uh, the way it's directed and stuff. Uh, Joseph Medeb, folks. We had a saga. Joseph Medeb and the Fox, or uh, actually the Jackal. Medeb was Zib. Was Zib. Zib. <laughs> who ironically Mirab, everyone knows he's very religious uh, and last week we talked about the omen getting banned and the omen i think part of the lore is that like the mother like the the, the devil was born from like a jackal like the jackal <laughs> is like the mother of the devil so like Mirab and the, the and the devil fraternizing <laughs> in the woods but anyways joseph Mirab took the lebanese and middle eastern internet by storm folks by finding an injured fox we're just going to call him fox for the sake of this video i don't want to say jackal every time uh, in the woods, folks, and nursing him back to health. We show the the Egypt like Jamaie, and they helped uh, the jackal. Let, let's just watch. Let's watch the story. We don't have all of. There's like tons of videos. This could take 40 minutes if you want to go through all of them <laughs> one by one. Does that feel? Yeah, it literally can make a movie. But so, no, let's watch a few snippets of, of, of this beautiful, wholesome <laughs> story. <laughs> It's so wholesome, bro. It's so cute. <laughs> He's just having a conversation. <laughs> oh, he's like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on? So, <laughs> Haram, he got, he got shot, apparently. He got shot with a khirda in his, like, hind leg, <coughs> and it was getting infected. For poor little, Poor little foxy. Honey Joseph is getting closer. It wasn't enough to just film him. He was getting, uh, he insisted on getting closer <laughs> to that little boy or girl. Oh, no, this is horrifying stuff, folks. Horrifying. <laughs> I don't know about that. And there was a lot of videos between those. <laughs> and look at the face of the fox, bro. bro. The fox wants to eat him. But <laughs> the fox is looking at <laughs> The fox is looking. I'm horrified. And I'm working on a little project about <laughs> Joseph Menebe. I can't tell you guys about it now. I'm like, please be safe, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph doesn't believe in hospitals. So it's like, it's like a <laughs> Joseph ain't going to no hospital and getting no tetanus shot. He doesn't believe in it. I mean, he's right. The fox is just horrified, bro. He's just terrified. Yeah. Haram, yani. So he know he would have eaten the shit out of Joseph. But it's like Joseph's got balls, bro. Motherfucker's got balls. And that's terjet, everybody. Akid la, bro. I'll call the jamai. I'm like, should we pet him? I'll film him from far. So I'm sitting there and petting him. Leshu. This is how I talk to my cat. Is your cat like? Does your cat want to kill him? Bro, I'm video. Yeah, it's a three-minute. Like, it's, it's so long. He wants to kill him, bro. No way, but oh my god, that was just nice. But bro, I mean, uh, 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 National Geographic, bro, I mean, yeah, yeah, on Joseph's yeah. phone, bro. It was like a fucking wildlife documentary, bro. The whole country is is, is enwrapped in the story of this fox. 
واخيرا صرنا رفقه someone needs to do a drawing of like a disney style like cute little medhab with a cute little fox in the woods with like little hearts floating why hasn't anyone done that already bro <laughs> like come on guys get on that shit هو انا ده مهضوم بس هو بيان كان بده ياكل let's see اليوم عم فرجيكم ازاي اه اه صار صار friendly little little fox بس ربنا كله حلو Look, he's a handsome looking devil. But the human always gets it. Wow. <laughs> Deep. Yeah, he says <laughs> that in the documentary. Is this one injured? Yeah, it's the same one. It's same the injured one. one. Uh, more of the saga. Sorry, guys, this is boring. We have to watch this. This <laughs> is a wildlife <laughs> documentary. Who is this? This is the one who is going to give him a drink until he's going to drink. I'll tell you what his name is. في ناس بتعلم الاخلاق وعندها مدارس بس بنفس الوقت المسؤولين عنها لحتى ما احكي اكثر من هيك بسمموا للحيوانات so ودائما لانه بينزعجوا من صوتهم بسمموا لهم لحتى يقتلوهم حبيت خبر الجميع ليعرفوا الحقيقه والرب يبارك الجميع <تصفيق> بس لازم يلي بيأذوا يبطلوا يأذوا الطبيعه والحيوانات لان كمان مخلوقات ربنا سو جوزيف حط له شويه ارس عني in the water to try to like you know clean out the, the poison not sure how much it helped but so god bless him and he threw water at his face so he tried to help him drink anyways we don't need to watch this whole thing so joseph gave him water then eventually uh, people were a lot of people were tagging me in the comments and anthony do something about this and i'm sure i'm a super hero and i'm i'm gonna fly out hedish and save the like and they tag this other um uh this jamaya called lebanese wildlife so like anthony contact them and have them help i'm like the least i could do is at least just dm them and see if they've seen the tags so uh, i sent them this dm i'm like hey guys i'm sure you've seen the tags in the fox videos with joseph merab fox seems injured anything we can do to help they're like hello yes we contacted joseph and we're heading to get the jackal now i'm like perfect i don't need to do an- uh, anything the internet has taken care of it that's no it's fucking crazy that it actually worked out and the internet came together everybody held hands and was like we got to save this we got to come together and save this fox Ooh, look at this lovely video the jamaya was there and ended up being joseph putting the the jackal inside the cage because he was saying that you know the, the lady that was there was like kind of afraid who wasn't even, he's like let me do it ma'am i got this <laughs> what a pimp <laughs> oh look at that They're putting him in the cage oh his little legs and thighs hold on hope, he, hope he's okay okay well, yeah, joseph. Yeah, i know that he's okay now bad oh he's good he's good They're gonna let him go. Man, someone's gonna shoot him next weekend. You know what I mean? Joseph. <laughs> morbid. <laughs> He should live with Joseph, ideally, bro. Like that's the story. That's how the story. Well, now he's in the office, and he's giving us the money. Oh, look at Joseph. And God bless you. And finally, folks, here is our little buddy at the hospital getting some some Avi. Oh, he does look, he's so like confused and high, like, what's going on? Oh, he does look like a fox though. You know, he's got that red uh, and a handsome jackal. I don't know how jackals, I've never seen a jackal from this up close, but thanks to Joseph Mehra, I've, I've learned so much about nature. Uh, and that is, the, what do you guys think about this beautiful, lovely saga? Did it touch you as much as it touched me? Yeah, I know. I Joseph I'm upset, I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Everyone at the boxing gym was talking about this. Karina, were you inspired by this lovely story? Yeah, I was inspired to go find a fox myself. And, and raise them as your own. And raise them as my yeah. own. But I'm going to say that Allah is not going to be a fox. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joseph, yeah. Joseph, yeah. Joseph, <laughs> Zamat, Joseph, Khalas, no more. Yeah, Zamat. The Lebanese wildlife in the first Joseph, Khalas, man, don't pet any more animals. We're going to be a fox. We're going to be a fox. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm dead. Accident waiting to happen over there. Uh, all right, moving on, folks, to our next topic, Abu Hadi. Last week, we talked about how Abu Hadi introduced a new format on his TikTok page, Hikmat al He was very excited about it. He was over the, the khiyar stuff. He stopped reviewing products. Khalas, the guy wants to do, and if you want to make content consistently on the internet, you have to be passionate about it. You have to do something that you like. So, Bellash, Allah, with Hikmat al Here is a couple that we missed since last week, Lal Yom. Hikmat al So he replaced Khiyar with a wink, basically. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. Rufi'at al-Jalsa. Rufi'at al-Jalsa. 
Okay, so here's another Hikmat Leon. Basically, little lessons, tips and tricks to live a better life. Uh, how to be a better person, like Abu Hadi. Abu Hadi, what's Hikmat Leon? Hikmat Leon. All right. So, as you can see, this is amazing, engaging content that is so absurd, just incredible. Very fast. Fast, quick. You don't, you know, less than fifteen seconds, which is the stuff that we all love. <laughs> He's got his nice shirt on, horn. <laughs> Uh, didn't give us a good look at the, like, last week. Anyways, uh, Abu Hadi has since released a video uh, kind of explaining the people's reaction to his Hekmat <laughs> uh format. Let's see. I don't, he's, he's, he's pretty sad. And that made me sad. <laughs> عامل استطلاع رأيي اللي انتو بتقولوا عليه المحتوى اللي انتو بتقولوا عليه وبدكم اياه انا رح ارجع اشتغل عليه بس مثل ما انا بعرف كتير عالم عم تحب انه ارجع للتقييم وبالنسبة لمحتوى حكمة اليوم حسيت العالم مش هيبته Oh, 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 صوتوا بهذا الفيديو على واحد من المحتويات وانا رح ارجع عليها ما فهمت ليه ليه شوفكم فيديو جديد باي Did you guys comment انا كومنت انا قلت له خيار وتقييم ما فهمت ليه انه ليه ما حاسس انه في يعمل كل شيء ليه ضروري جست تو وان تايم عن جد وشو بدك بالعالم يا ابو هادي انت بالنهايه لازم تعمل وات ميكس يو هابي يو نو وات اي مين العالم رح تقول لك عمول هيك عمول هيك يو هاف تو ليسن تو يور سيلف اذا بتسمع شو بيقولوا لك كل العالم يو جو اند اب دوينج ناثينج ليسن تو يور سيلف فولو يور جت نحن بنحبك نحن معك الى الابد يا ابو هادي سبيكينج اوف بيور انسنت سولز فولكس اور باتريون ليت مي جيت تيك ا سكند تو ثانك سم اوف اور بيوتيفول باترونز هو ميك شور ذات ذس شو كان هابن ويك افتر ويك بيوتيفول باترونز لايك بلون باترونز لايك دارك وينج دك Uh, Leonardo Sawaya, Heather Jabber, Karim Ayad, Malik UX, Falafel Brain, uh, Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, Karen's Cravings, and Hagop. Uh, beautiful superhero patrons like Joey To, Daniel Nekhle, Elias Salibi, Muhammad Mansour, Mo Hariri, Najio, and Andrew the Bass, and our got your patrons, Rifat Fakih, Burgery, Eliel Mujabir, Jessica Ann, and Jack Sleeman. We thank you guys so much. We cannot do this without you. If you guys are interested in supporting the small independent YouTube channel and make sure that the show can keep going, check out our Patreon. Uh, find it here. Let's try it for you. And with that, let's move on to the next topic that broke my heart, folks. Wajih Sa'ir. As you guys know, last week we looked at Wajih's video. TikTok to join him. And I think a lady called Pamela or Perla. I can't remember. To hit them up on WhatsApp, to join a WhatsApp group, to organize the next revolution, to get our money back from the banks. I was like, you know what? It's all quiet on the, on the Thawra front, mm. revolution front. Why not? If I'm going to follow anyone into the pits of hell, it's going to be Wajih Sa'ir. So uh, I took it upon myself. I asked Nadim to DM Wajih and ask him, did you DM? Did you reach out to Wajih? Yeah, but Marad, yeah. Oh, you did ask him? Because I asked him myself. I said Wajih. These, I said, hello, Wajih. Wajih, I'm a huge fan. He said, hi. He said, hi. Wajih actually answered me. Yes. So when I was like, ooh, like there's hope. I said, Wajih, I'm a huge fan. Can you please add my phone number to your WhatsApp group about the new revolution? Uh, <laughs> I sent him my phone number, folks. Just no hesitation. I want Wajih Sa'ir to have my number. If he wants to send me weird texts in the middle of the night, ahla wa sahla, Wajih. I'm ready to receive them and uh, reply to you with weird texts as well. Then... I saw that he wasn't answering. I'm like, I'm do not worry podcast on TikTok. I'm like, maybe if I remind him of all the roses I've thrown, maybe he'll be like, oh, do not worry podcast. Thank you. I said, we love you. He left me on red, bro. <laughs> Motherfucker left me on red. 
<laughs> so then I decided to take it a step further, folks. We know Wajih can't get off TikTok Live. He's always on TikTok Live. So chances are, if you want to find him, uh, you just got to get on TikTok. Sure yeah. enough, he was on TikTok Live. I was like, you know what? Let me take this opportunity to ask him more directly by throwing him some money, of course. And, and, I, and everything I threw, I can't He's like, but I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to It was kind of sad, but so I, kept, I tried to, to, to keep up. Do not worry. Thank you. Do not worry. And I sent him roses. But I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> he's, so patro- he's so begging for money. He's so patron. I love you, uh, What about the WhatsApp group, please? Waji, have me back soon. He's like, he do not worry. He thank you. Mish head al Habib. But al zahr al kbir. I'm خلي ما احترنا معك ما عم نفهم شو من بعد لك يا يا وجي. أنا عم بكتب له. Please, please let me into your group. I'm not anymore in this group. Ah, yeah. He left. Habibi. I was like, I'm not anymore in the group. I'm like, I'm not in this one. I will follow you to the end of the world, Waji. Then he paused the video. I was begging and begging. Then he just paused the video. He came back a minute later. My button, I can buy. Look, I'm donuts. My shirt on. Hatta. Waji, he left. I'm in fear. أنا كل شيء بنحكي عنه كونه يعني no and I want to rub my hand through his like chest hair on his head I want to feel that I want to feel the chest hair that is on his head you know what I mean لي زرعون أخذون من صدر حطون على رأسه I want all of that bro شو ما يرى bro and what what you gonna do you know what I mean you gotta want to fight nature he's not planning a revolution anymore not he's not in the group anymore I was like I missed the boat on that group if I had asked him a week earlier bro can you imagine the content would have gone from that group وجي هم بيبات like I'm be uh, motivating an army of people to, to, to get their money back and get their rights back. Anyways, that was my adventure with Waji. I'm gonna I still love Waji Sa'ir, and I'm still Team Waji versus Team Fadi Sharbir. <laughs> Not even close. Uh Maestro Bar. El Maestro. I think it's become cliche to compare him to Mr. Beast and to say that he's copying Mr. Beast. We all know that his his uh, Maestro Bar tab lez al packaging kitchi on Mr. Beast, the types of videos that he makes. حتى his YouTube channel عنده ثلاثة كمان كثير Mr. Beast بس, so بس I was like that's where it's gotta end right he copied the chocolate he copied the type of content like the social media stuff and everything else he'll copy the videos he'll copy everything else weirdly enough so, th- so a few months ago uh, this happened it kind of went viral Mr. Beast uh, asked his fans on Twitter to basically reorganize the stands of his chocolates when they're messy in a supermarket like hey guys if you see my, my chocolates in the supermarket uh, please fix them. No, I don't want it to look messy. Well, here's and it kind of like you know it was a controversy because people were like, are you asking your fans to work for you for free or whatever? Anyways, it's stupid. Mr. Beast is facing backlash after asking his fans to help clean up his chocolate bar displays in Walmart. The YouTube star took to Twitter asking fans oh, to organize his face. feastables in Walmart, adding that it would make him very happy. And yes, many did follow Mr. Beast's command, but others are upset that he asked his followers to basically work for free. Critics argue that Mr. Beast's choice to call on his fans points to an abuse of loyalty and peak capitalism since he could easily pay for the staff he needs to clean up his product. I mean, his net worth is an estimated five... So basically, a bunch of kids started going to Walmarts and they would film themselves, Hey, Mr. Beast, I'm organizing your chocolates for you. Whatever, it was a stupid little thing. Um, I, I was scrolling uh, through TikTok, this maestro video. And I'm like, you shameless little bastard. Like, uh, yeah. يعني, bro, like, هل أدي معنى creativity? Even, even this, but the قرأتها يا خيي. أردت الشوكولا, أردت الباكجين, أردت كل شيء. Even this you gotta do. I'm like, you know, there's zero originality, bro. أنا موجود حاليا بسبنس دبي، شوفوا هالألوان، شوفوا هالجمال، هل عندنا مشكلة؟ أنا حليتها، بس شوفوا شو صاير، هون ليكوا العلبة تبعيتنا، أول ما يبلشوا يفضوا منا البارز، ببلشوا يوقعوا هيك، هل أنا حليتها، وسعت العلبة، حطيت لها مخدة ورا، فبضلوا هيك البارز لاقيين دايما، بس من هلا لننزل العلب الجديد على السوق، بدي منكم كلكم كل ما تكونوا عم مرقين من حد ستاند للمايسترو بار وتشوفون واقعين بهيدي الطريقه تمرقوا تزبطون هيك كلون تتكونوا انتم كل... ميرسي ميرسي يعطيكم العافيه تتكونوا كلكم سفراء للمايسترو بار بكل المحلات اللي بتشوفوها خلينا دائما نترك الجوندولا هيك مرتبه نترك الشوكولا كله معرم وبشهي
I don't know. The reason that people got upset at Mr. Beast, no, you're making your fans work for free. I don't care about that. No one's working. It was the fucking, he's just asking them to fix the chocolate. It's just the lack of originality, taking people's fucking content, selling it as your own, building a whole persona off of someone else's persona. You're a fucking grown man. I'm like, 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 YouTube videos. He's the person you're ripping off for your content, and people don't know. People might be out for, if he can't have there's a lot of people on TikTok that call him out for being a Mr. Beast clone. So most people, لا, he's great. Was that he But لا, he will be nene and nejeh. شو عندك ضده كله هوني بلبنان. If you fucking criticize someone, شو عندك ضد الصناعة اللبنانية أو لازم تشجعه. لك إذا واحد لبناني بس لأنه لبناني بده شجعه بro. يعني شو هاللوجيك الأير bro. أير بالهبل. إنه he's probably a nice guy, but إنه you know, his whole persona, his whole life is based off of Jimmy, a guy named Jimmy who lives in the States, bro. That's maestro. He had the identity, bro. تبعه. Uh, it just this shit just pisses me off, man. This shit just fucking annoys me because these people are fucking successful, man. Off of someone else's work. What do you guys think about the? About the would would you fix his chocolate bar if you found the? the I don't like this guy. Bro, I kid la la no. اخر شيء بحياتي بدي اكون سفير للمايسترو بار بلبنان فهمت شو قصدي؟ I've never had it anyway, but. Bro, I think Darwish is beefing my maestro. Darwish just released his chocolate. If you guys can find us some Darwish wafers la, for next episode, jibun na yehun tandu on. But one of Darwish is kind of beefing my maestro and be latish about maestro bar hadaro smao. أنا هلا موجود بقلب الشاركوتيه وبدي خبركم إنه المايسترو بار صار موجود ب 19 فرع لفروع لفروع الشاركوتيه اول اوفر لبنان أما اليوم ينزل برودكت أنتم المحلات كنتوا سبب بنجاحه عم بحكي عن بار 60 جرام بسوبر ماركت بنسبة بروفيت 28% بينما أنا وأنت وهيداكي وكل المحلات عم تستلموا على نسبة بروفيت 18% هيدا منه اتكس بالشغل وهيدا يلي بيخلي الشركة يلي عم توسعه لهيدا البار او صاحب هيدا البار يقشط بالسوق ويعمل داون مثل ما صاير فيه هلا اوه ما كثير عم بفهم يعني اي جس اي جس المايسترو عم بيزعبر اليجلي كيف عم بيبيعوا بروفيت مارجن للسوبر ماركت فيرسس سمولر ستورز عم بيوسخها ودرويش از كولينج هيم اوت نحن انه ليك ات از ان اكسبنسيف بار اتس 3 باكس برو كل ما بدي ايفري تايم اي سي ايم لايك ليتس شود اي جست جيت انذر ون فور لايك ذا شوت اند ات سيل ام لايك اي سي 9 باكس ايم لايك برو اي كان باي 100 ثينجز فور 9 فاكن باكس بس تعرف انه حتى كمان ذا تريو باك حتى بتعرف انه هي ات از اكسبنسيف لانه تبع ذا مستر بيست كمان اتس لايك 10 دولارز برا It's not that expensive. Is it that expensive, Mr. Bis Bro? Yeah, it's, it's ten dollars. Yeah. Bis Bro, ma'ashit, but or like, ala min ma'ashit Lebanon. You know what I mean? Oh, Mr. Beast, you don't get three bars for ten bucks. You probably get more. Da la la, right? one bar is for ten, ten bucks. No way, bro. Ba la la, ana be Dubai, shteray ta. Be Dubai, not five hundred thirty dirham. Not the states. Dude, no. If Mr. Beast was selling his chocolate bar for ten bucks in the states, he would go out of business overnight. Ala akid hamachu. I promise you, it's not ten bucks per per bar. Two hundred percent. Maybe it's like three or four bars. And again, you're selling it in the States, standard of living ala, salaries are much higher. You can justify selling it for a little bit more. But I don't think it's $10 a bar, bro. You crazy? You crazy? I'm not going to get you if I'm right. Yeah, he's right. Who's right? I'm right. I'm right. One bar is $10. I'm not going to get you if I'm right. Definitely not one bar. It's probably like a box of one dollar. Nine point seventy-five. I'm a sharia by ten dollar. Remember? Talat el tu air. One bro, I, I was literally in the states a few months ago in a supermarket. Very special edition. Beastable is like damn it. Definitely not ten dollars a bar. I promise. Sal, ahlak. Bro, his competition is Hershey's. His competition is Hershey's. I'm with Shari. Mr. Beast. Sal, hadam amir. I'm Shari. I'm billak. You're not getting paid this month. Okay, guys. I need proper research. Okay. One bar. How? One bar is ten bucks at Walmart. It's ten dollars, man. One bar. One bar is for ten dollars. I'm not like. Wait, <laughs> wait. So this is a Feastables Mr. Beast on Amazon. You get ten bars for twenty bucks. Uh, it's a box of uh, Heida, nineteen ninety nine. For you get ten bars. So twenty bucks divided by ten is two dollars a bar, bro. Ten dollars. Guys, are you crazy? Three ten dollars for a chocolate bar in the states. Say, I just found this one. Three dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's not ten bucks. Guys, how about America? I will not do a whole thing. Bro, it's not. But it's not like crazy. if it's a special edition or something. No, no, I did it's classic, ten dollars. Yeah. Anyway, let's, let's, let's not, move on. Let's dude, move it's on. not ten bucks. Wait. There's a super random video that I came across on TikTok. My body flay, random trend. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it. Fun ASMR, kind of gross. It's obviously done um, ironically. This is not a serious video, but it's, it's blue collared husband. It's this wife making food for her blue collared husband who works 13 hour days. And it's like the least appetizing shit ever, least effort. I love it. 
I don't think it's ironic. It is. It is ironic. Look at the salt. The amount of salt that okay, yeah. put on it. <laughs> Make a blue collar husband steak chips and beans after his nine hour shift. I've seen these. <laughs> <laughs> the I love how everything is in the same. Look, that's more salt. I love how everything is in the same pan. Being in the same pan kind of does kind of make it appetizing in a weird way. Like you get the bean juice mixing in with some of that steak juice with some of them fries. Yeah, I hate beans. Like, you know, this whole thing. So I I'm I like beans. I don't mind beans. Why is it so small? The steak? <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> I love how they serve it, bro. And it's like a little bit sped up, so it's like it's a little fucked up. Like you know what I mean? The Extremely. editing. It's so it's so cursed. Look at all that oil. All her all her videos hit it. It's, everything's drowning in oil. Yeah, that's the whole like it's a. Hen hek bekelo ba Amerika? Hala fjall en tekor hek for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but this is again, this is definitely like an ironic. More salt just for good measure. There's a ironic. bunch. Well, there's a bunch of accounts like this. Uh, this is I'm sticking with the same account for now, and then the other ones had some music. This one has no music, which is beautiful. Fair? Yeah. <laughs> I love it, bro. Is that a block of vegetables? <laughs> it's a block of frozen veggies <laughs> again with the salt and pepper. Can't have too much seasoning. Has she heard of defrosting? Oh, no need. Just the hot oil will take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. That's starting oh, to get the color is starting to look pretty. <laughs> I love the salt, the, the amount of salt. You know, just for just to get a fucking TikTok. It's probably never cleaned. <laughs> Making my blue collar husband a roast dinner after his 11 hour shift. He's divorcing you. What is a blue collar? Husband? Blue collar and a blue collar work, yeah. 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 salt of the earth, yeah. Yeah. you're a miner, you are uh, you work with your hands. Plumber. Uh, plumber, yeah, like a, a trade trade job, basically. Uh, We're very respectable, very honorable work. Yeah. Yeah. We love our blue collar workers. One more blue collared or khalas, you guys can. It reminds me of those videos where women used to be like, You think you can handle a blue collar man? My man doesn't shower. And every time we're hanging out, he's farting the entire time. And oh, it's yeah. like they're kind of showing off that their husbands are disgusting because then a, reg <laughs> a, a regular woman can't handle her man. And I can't remember. Like, no one wants your man, girl. There was a trend uh. on TikTok of like women packing their like husbands like lunch. Like, here's yeah. what I'm giving my husband for like it's like he's got an apple, he's got like and it's all like this like very hearty food, like he's got a sandwich and it's all like wrapped up and packed up very nicely and like ASMR. Ooh, uh, yeah, it kinda reminded me of that. I know what's the the kids lunchbox, yeah the lunchbox. I love lunchbox backing videos. Uh, yeah, those are really <laughs> Ooh, oh, I, so I got a bunch of like random videos that I that I found before we get to uh, the Maria Catalia uh, controversy with Karin and uh, ending our Bertalicious and Dr. Food. But there's this tracking device. And every time I see something about, about tracking devices, it really creeps me out. You know what I mean? But uh, you to like chip. I don't bro. So I just feel like it's just husbands creeps using it on like their wives and stuff, bro. Like mm. just watch. And then the way the way the guy promotes it makes it seem like that's okay. بيشتغل ثرو ساتلايت بيعطينا اخر ثلاث لوكيشنز وين عم يتحرك هيدا الديفايس بس بالسكندز وبالوقت وبالدقائق وهيدي بتنحط بورتوكلي هيدا الشيء كبير بيتحرك هيدا الديفايس انا سايق وين مرتك وين راحت مرتك وين راحت صاحبتك هيدا الديفايس جوست لايك هيدا هوز ما بقى يو نو لايك اوكي ذيس ورك لايك اتس لايك ذا ايفون تاج يا يا ار تاج ار تاج اون يور فون يو بوت اون لايك اون يور لاب توب اور سمثينج بس نو ذيس از نوت هاو ذيس از غانا بي يوز سبيشلي كيف قال هيدا بده يعمل قلق بلبنان هي نوز واي بيبل ار كومينج تو باي ذيس He knows. He's just saying it very casually. Just because he's smiling. Just because he's smiling, he's saying it so casually. 
You're like, oh, hey, right. This is, fuck yeah. I'll give it to someone. I'll give it to my friend. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, bro, yeah, dude, this is going to go in cars. This is going to be, yeah, he's right. This is going to fuck up Lebanon, bro. Kill a couple of Lebanon. Three minutes. Would you guys like to track a loved one? Abadan, bro. <laughs> no, you don't think that's a healthy idea for a good relationship? Bala, Tracking is. a partner? Yes. We got a new uh, French uh, shop. Lake Paris, Ben Malik al Tawu, Ben Bouzid Bashir. It's the place to be for, for Lebanese food. Yeah, I'm, like, you're never going to miss Lebanon. Je teste un nouveau concept de sandwich Libana à Paris. Ça a l'air incroyable. J'ai déniché un bon plan à 7,90€. Est-ce que tu connais le Frenji Le Frenji, c'est une baguette française qui est venue au Liban depuis 100 ans. Elle a été adaptée au goût libanais. Et maintenant, c'est tout simplement des sandwichs libanais à l'accent français. T'as plusieurs recettes à la carte. J'ai testé par exemple celle au pastrami libanais, mais mon préféré, ça reste celle au shawarma. J'ai bien kiffé, surtout pour le prix, mmh. et toutes les recettes sont toastées. T'as aussi des recettes végétales comme au falafel ou alors aux atar qui est incroyable. Va tester, c'est pas cher et frangiment bon. On a un nouveau concept ici en France, il y a un animal qui est très bien, mais ça semble bien. Mais ça semble bien, parce que c'est tellement lebanese. Nous avons pris quelque chose de français, nous avons fait un lebanese, nous sommes allés à la France et nous sommes vendus à eux. Oui, mais c'est vrai. Vous savez ce que je veux dire C'est vrai, nous sommes allés à la lebanese. Nous sommes tellement bien de français. Nous sommes tellement bien de nous. Nous sommes ici notre version de votre bread, et nous allons faire ça de notre façon. Je ne savais pas qu'ils n'ont pas. Frangé Qu'est-ce que tu veux dire Qu'est-ce que tu veux dire Like, yeah, like, like, do, he's saying it like, no, this is, you know, we took the French bread, we, hey, we made it probably, we changed a little bit, and now we're mm. teaching the French how to make, a, you know oh. what I mean? I mean, French is great. French is great. French is great. French is great. French يعني عن جد ما حتى في اتذكر قديش منه طيب ملك تو تبع فرنسا اه عن جد؟ ما في انسى قديش I'm hearing the Canada one is pretty good How do you fuck up the world? تبع كندا بركة بس تبع تبع فرنسا يعني انا I went with my cousin Apparently تبع فرنسا حدا قال لي it wasn't the real tomb it was like لبن مع تومي او شيء انت قلت لبن هو بيعملوها بس لبن وبلاعن اي ذاتس اوفنسيف لا لا بدنا تومي الاوريجينال هيدا لبن ذس لبن ثينج I feel like it's cheaper to just do it تومي عادي why would they add لبن or Yogurt to it. And I'm an ardent defender of Malik Tawu. So Tawu Bar, ya malim. Tawu Bar. And ah, this one, this is this is fun little video that I came across. It's a, I feel like a boomer when I have these little random things. But hey, the that it, you know me and Spider Man, folks. I saw this woman's outfit. I was like, ah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, that outfit, garam. نور سن بي ذس وذ نو كونتكس No, I asked for context. I'm like, who are these? Who are these people? Who are these girls? I have no information, folks. I think I, to, yeah, I, I just to. have this video. I don't even know if this is their voice or if this is like an audio clip that's viral. <laughs> Why did we just watch this? <laughs> I, went, I went on their like Instagram. I think they're like singers or something. Like, this. I thought they would have more of these. This was the only thing that I found that's like this. Muffin like. Does anyone know anything about this? No, 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 but I saw it a few times. With saying this thing? Yeah, that's about it. Let's say it again. 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 What's up, boys? Hey! The other side of the left, you're scared. They all, they, they all got the, the, the eyes going on. They're all good at it. I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to say it again. Uh, folks, if you take Panadol, you're gay. Let's listen uh, to Mr. Easy Money as he explains why. البانادول او الادويه ان جنرال للجيس ليش واحد بياخذ دواء كرمال يتخلص من الوجع يتخلص من البين وكلنا بنعرف انه خاصه للرجال نو بين نو جين فتخيل انه انت عم تتخلص من النمبر 1 ريزن نمبر 1 فاكتور لنجاحك بالحياه يلي هي البين كرمال شو كرمال عم بيوجعك يا با راسك او عم بيمغصك بطنك سوري صديقي بس انت الوان
Levez-vous pour la prière. Bédak t'amou l'masari online 100% freak. Bosse à l'link bil bayou ande. Faut à l'groupe. Et m'nèche rach l'akkim chi. Bro, ana jidde ken yekhid lo chi alf dawa. Ana jidde ken yeklo bil meter ya wali. Bro, yeah. Ken yeklo bil meter. This guy is, a, this guy is an Andrew Tate uh, type of guy. When you go to his, like, yeah. his account, he's got like a, a group that you can join. Ou dropshipping ya bro. Ou marketing. Ou, uh, so I don't know the fuck. This is kind of funny. He, this is, he knows this is stupid. <laughs> the ad in the video is so funny. Like, <laughs> It gets some attention. You know He's putting I mean? an ad. The <laughs> now that's gay. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, that, that's so gay. That's actually. pretty gay, bro, Mr. Easy Money. Is that she? You know what I'm saying? Plus, that shirt's kind of tight. That's kind of gay. Your hair is kind of gay, too. If medicine's for gay people, why do you own a pack? Ooh. Oh, we know. He, oh, was he holding a pack of Panadol? He was holding. Uh, he was holding a pack. Yeah. Of, oh, that's so gay, bro. Check oh my one. God. I I to again, not, not, again, we were just saying gay for fun, folks. We, we love, we love gayness. Painkillers <laughs> are for gays. This is done. Ba 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 ba. Folks, we're reaching the end of our adventure, and we're going to. We have reached the Doctor Food Baby Review. Hello, Anna. Literally, I was scrolling. I, I don't scroll much on TikTok, but so no, every now and then, uh, I'll do it. I came across Dr. Food and I swear to God, for the first 10 seconds, what I was thinking was, like, Dr. Food's gone boring. Like, there's nothing, like, what is there to say about Dr. Food anymore? He's walking around the house, looking for baby food. And then, within 20 seconds, folks, I was like, this motherfucker got me again. <laughs> this motherfucker got me again. Sunshine, I'm going to talk to you. Dr. Food, Hakim and Hanna said that we have to start with what you want. What do you want? Not you, Dr. Food, you have to know what you want, Hanna. I'm going to get a baby food. Everyone is going to get the same thing. Let's see if they like it or not. So, uh, right there, I was like, first of all, I don't want to give these people credit for doing the bare minimum, but credit for hiding the baby's face. Pretty cool. A lot of people don't do that. They don't take the time. Uh, I think most people with huge audiences should cover their baby's face and you know, for privacy and stuff a lot of creeps on the internet hey, but I keep my mom I'm low for privacy I keep they're doing good can I have no face reveal face reveal, yeah. face reveal <laughs> and monetize the face reveal of course of course but anyways uh, right now it's a good thing <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm throwing them a crumb let's 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 you know what I mean uh, but yeah as soon as he was like get the two types of baby food time to baby Hannah I'm like oh my god bro but he was like it's we need to start feeding our baby what have you been doing for the past four months <laughs> what has he been surviving on? Just like milk, like breast milk? Is that what she means? Like hella solid foods. Anyways, uh, you got it. It's never too early to get the baby to work. You know what I mean? Baby Hanna has to start earning his uh, his his share of the house, Yan. تعرف دكتور فود الشروق؟ أنا أكيد تعرف إنه عندهم بيبي حنا. أكيد. عندك بيبي جورس. أربعة أشهر. هاي دا بروكولي من بيبي بيو. وهاي دا بروكولي من هيب. وهاي دا تفاح من بيبي بيو. وهيدا تفاح وموز من هيب لانه ما عندهم بس تفاح، انا عندي كل برودكتس دكتور فود. افليو سيجنتشر ويفر كوكيز. انا رح اخذ من عندك ريسكي بزنس ولاف كيك وذوق العالم برا. برو هو اللي لابس صيدليه بس. يا اي لاف ذا فارماسيز ار سيلينغ كانسر بيسكلي ان ذا شيب اوف دكتور فود برودكتس. كيكس اول سورتس اوف ديليشس يا اي ونت فاكينغ لوك ات ذيس ثينجز اجين برو. امم بدي افتح فيها على 10 9 ماني تسعة الفين وثلاثة عشرين تخلص تاريخها بثلاثين أربعة الفين وخمسة وعشرين. واو واو. Why do we care about this? حاطين ال production day تاريخ الانتهاء بثلاثين واحد الفين وخمسة وعشرين. هيدي أدي حقها. هيب ميتين ألف. وبيبي بيو. مية وخمسة وثمانين ألف. زناعة وين دكتور فود؟ بيبي بيو فرنسا والهيب أستريا. أنا رح دوقة وشوف شو المواد الموجودة بقلبها. أخي شو خصك أنت؟ أنت بدك تدور. شفنا المواد خيي. تفاح مطبوخ ومحطل له سكر ومطحون ناي بتحس انه الطفل بيو ياكل سكر انا فيني اعمل لك اياها فريش شو بيها شي اون شي اون هورس شي اون هورس ترانكولايزر شي اون سو ماني دراجو البروكلي البروكلي منك يا برو تعشى كده اكيد لا يضايق فتره طويله لازم ينطبخ اعمل له اياها بالسانيتايزر خصوصي للولد ما فيك تطعمي اول شيء بمعالق حديد انتك اخت ايدي يا معلم 10 دقايق اه اوكي ممكن تشذق او شيء مشغله 
I'm so enthralled with the story. Please stop, Daddy. What a poor child, bro. Please God, take me. Hakim you you've had a baby for months. Hello, learning how to feed. So Bro, this baby is terrified. This baby wakes up every morning in fear for his life. He's he's he, he doesn't understand life. He's already like save me. He prays for salvation every morning. Someone save me, God. Just take me from take me from these people. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it too early? Uh, Elijah made a good point on a, on a, on a, on a WhatsApp the, when we were talking. He was like, he's probably uh, going to launch. Like, they're probably getting ready to launch a uh, food baby product. food line. So, like, this is probably <laughs> setting up for the baby food line. And I want to see Baby Hanna reviewing more things. What's the gimmick? Where's Baby Hanna? Where's the bonjour, bonjour? Where's the khiar? What the fuck is that, Baby Hanna Adley? We're just wearing a tuxedo. We need more of you for these videos. But not like your opinion. Just spitting it out doesn't. Tell me enough about the food. You know what I mean? But no more. But now tell us in Belish. What is this? And all the reviews, Maktir. You know what I mean? Like if we're gonna do this, let's do this properly. We don't. We face reveal. We don't. Real, but in Belish, yeah, I do. I do. Shalla. Bro, I don't want to think about those days. Let's, oh my God. Let's enjoy the, his youth. Uh, speaking of youth. بنعتز أنت بتحس ولا إنه بتحس بدلون لحديت ما بلش يقدر يحكي ويصير أدنى هيك. On social media? Yeah. Okay, but they're going to have a reality yes. TV show by then. Uh, Maria Catalia, please tell us what, what's going on, uh, uh, Karim. We're going to leave this up to you. This We talked about this family a few months before, folks. There was this this mom that, took, that she was with her daughters at the airport, and she asked her daughters to choose between her and their helper, and the daughters chose the helper. And apparently that's like a, a type of video they make all the time. So, uh, you, Karim, you just recently went after them on TikTok. You, I did, yeah. You're enthralled in this whole controversy with them. What, what have they done? Uh, no, I didn't know about them. I think I had seen the airport video before, but I didn't know about, you know, the account. My friend sent it to me, and she was like, I hate this family. So I looked it up. And because I already have, like, a moral thing against family vloggers in general. Mm -hmm. But when I saw an oh, a Lebanese family vlogging, then this must be, like, extreme levels of garbage. And I was right, because all their videos, first of all, him, they have five kids. Mm -hmm. The older two are two boys. But then few minutes, this is important. Binet, and then the two younger youngest are like the twins, Maria and Katalia. Okay, yeah. Okay, when did they've been vlogging since before the twins were born? But after the twins were born, now they have like way more fame, I guess. How many followers do they have? They have three million followers on TikTok and two Ooh. million subscribers on YouTube. Damn, yeah. Um, فلا إخي على إخر إنه it's a vlogging family. Well, basically, ninety percent of their videos is the two youngest twins who are like two, three years old maximum. And it's all super weird. Half the videos on their account, which, by the way, got banned on TikTok. I don't know why. Um, I discovered recently. I made the video, but then, like, a day later, I started getting comments that were like, are you the reason or no? I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. That's why. We got a bunch of examples here. Let's see some of this. Uh, Noor has called them fighting. One fighting. Let's see. So is this the kids just fighting? So we had to mute the music, folks. But So this is the middle daughter, like, hitting... <laughs> The two little ones with a pan on the head. Now the daughters are sad. <laughs> and the mom's just filming them, basically. Oh, and the kids are like crying. And there's like music, and let's see what kind of music is. Yeah. <laughs> like weird baby music. The kids are crying. Oh my god, they're all crying. Yeah. And now she's apologizing and giving her like a gift or something. Had to show back or something. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> we can stop watching this. Let's watch the second video of them fighting. Two fighting. I love, I love these. Oh my God, dude! Like she's she's crying already. Horn, uh, play. Oh, this one has no music. Oh, oh my God, bro! Hey, hey, yo! Yo, this, this is legit child abuse. This is legitimate child abuse. 
This is legit child abuse. These kids should be taken away from this lady. Straight up. Like, if this was happening in the States, uh, child, you can call child protection services and they would literally strip these kids from their parents. And no, hey, bro, hey. Kids. Oh, she's making them fight for social media content, man. You can build a strong case against these people. Three, three, fighting. three fighting. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. The kids are beautiful, innocent little hey, the best. Four fighting, yalla. God damn, this is horrible, man. We're gonna get demonetized for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, UFC 300. Max Holloway, the, the Justin Gaethje. Trying to be seen on. What is this? This isn't that bad. Sometimes it's just bad. So compared to the other ones, I'm like, oh, this one's just some light fighting. <laughs> Refresh. Yeah. So only, oh, this is just uh, plain abuse. Number five. This is just abuse. And I thought it was just like stupid airport pranks. What is this? They're throwing cocaine on their daughters. <laughs> <It's> cocaine. <laughs> Hello, this is nothing. This isn't abuse, yeah. Hello, this is. I know what the fuck that is. Most of their videos is just either them crying, and the other half is just like. Uh, shot of like, and you know, they're obsessed with the fact. I you know they're, you know, their two youngest daughters are like Halloween, I guess. I you know they're quote unquote attractive. This I is, don't want to use that word, but it's like, this is called don't use that word for kids. <laughs> this is called yeah. favoritism. Uh, let's see what's up. Number, number one, one. Number, one. <laughs> number one, until the only one, the only one. Me, number one. I'm going to Muhammad Ali, she's our queen, our majesty. Noor calling this our, favoritism. I think you know, he's just being nice to the daughter. I don't think this is like they probably say this to all the kids. But maybe maybe this is, is this is this abuse telling one of your kids that she's number one. I don't think this is that bad. I know. Uh, let's watch Karin's videos on the matter that uh, got uh, that went viral. Let's watch this. Hey, that's me. This family freaks me out. I don't care. Family vlogging to me is always gonna be so fucking weird. Like, in general, it's just so exploitative and just so gross. Why are you putting a camera in front of your children's faces and posting it online for thousands and, in their case, millions of people to see and comment on and be just generally really weird about? So many of their videos are just like their daughters. They have these two young twin daughters. I'm not sure how old they are, but they're small kids. Oh, and if you... I'm an Aiden Nafis, no? You're not your fault. You've hated that you've seen Oh, ship the fed, though. We found someone worse than you. Mama Tazali, this this person is way worse than you are. Hey, and I would I'm, I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about this fiddo. Badi fiddo, Tazali, kima nul esmi, pas no. Enta hki ta amda hki kima. We're not we're not going to get into details. Uh, Did Nur send you the comments? Yes, I have some comments. Let's see. So on the right comments one, and then you had you made a follow up video saying that you're getting. Wait, let's watch your follow up video. Getting cancelled. Let's watch this one. You're getting cancelled. <laughs> I didn't get canceled. Oh wait, I'll leave. Guys, that family vloggers, their fans found my video and now they're flooding my comments and like talking shit about me and like insulting me and whatever. And like, I don't care about their opinion because they're a bunch of grown women who idolize three-year-old girls. So I don't care, but it's really concerning. Why are you exhibiting like psychotic levels of parasocial behaviors with toddlers? You need help. It's the same. <laughs> and it's like much worse than I thought. Their fandom literally makes edits of the fucking three-year-old girls and like they have fan accounts for them, like with their names and everything, and like Suwaron as their profile picture. And yeah, they post edits and shit and they take size. They're like, no, this one's prettier. No, this one's prettier. You are 45 years old. It's so fucking weird. You are not real people. We have we have some of these fan edits, but they they have music. I'm not gonna play them right now. 
The same like Emmanuel, when like people would get upset about the Feddo stuff, he's like, "Stop! It's, I love their content." I'm like, "You're a 40 year old man with abs." It's <laughs> weird. bro. Like commenting and throwing them money. Like you're the weirdo. You're the problem. You fuckers, man. Uh, so Hone, so these comments are Lawin to, to your video. No, their videos. Oh, can you read them? Katalia uh, Malika Jamel. Oh, it was a video where Hnitnan Katalia and Maria, and it was in this video. It was just Maria. So someone said Katalia Malika Jamel when, and then someone said Maria Malika Jamel. There are like two, by the way. Karima, the Karima, the Anwar, the Hanun, the Tahra, Halwa, Halwiyat, Amir, Tikuka. Ah, uh, and it's like their fan accounts. Like all the fan accounts, they have names with the. So there's a bunch of people calling Habibi with hearts and stuff. Th there was a very disturbing video that I saw on Instagram that shows you like someone was tracking the percentage of like just adult creeps liking photos of babies and it's like fucking an insane amount so anytime you see a picture of like of like young kids with like a lot of likes and you just start going through them who are these random people liking these pictures a lot of them are people who go around instagram only liking pictures of little kids it's really disturbing bro i don't want to get into that so anyway this stuff this is really gross Ooh, did you get like what kind of fun comments did you get like on your video like on on my video like people were calling me jealous i was like Okay, I, I'm jealous of a two-year-old, I guess. And some people were saying, oh, no, no, the mom is beautiful and you're ugly. And I'm like, okay, oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want, if you want to pull up some of those, the comments on your TikTok, uh, feel free. And I'm going to pull up some of my delicious comments in a second. Yeah, yeah I will actually wait. <laughs> Anna, people fucking hate me on TikTok. Anna, I, I always get horrible comments on TikTok. TikTok fucking hates me. As we wait for that, let's move on to the final topic of the night. Uh, close it off with a bow, folks. Birdalicious. This saga has gone on for too long. We don't need to. It's, it's over. There's nothing I need to say. There's there's something I forgot to say last week that really bothered me. That then in Umaelta, I just wanted to kind of talk about it and put it behind us because I I think people really got the wrong idea. They think that I hate Bird Delicious, which again I don't. I just want to read some. So the first TikTok that I released about it a week, two weeks ago, talking about the ad, got 190,000 views. Then I released like the clarification that crept away Maki and Hassan. I'm like, no one's gonna see that. No one ever cares about like the apology or clarification. It's at 195,000 views. Oh, More people have seen the clarification than the original one, which should make Crepeway happy. I did it for you guys, okay? They were like, we gotta make it clear that we had nothing to do with it. I did my job. The episode of me clarifying it got more views. I don't think they <laughs> like me. I don't think Crepeway particularly uh, are happy with the <laughs> stuff that I said. But said, no, I really, I did my best crap away. For us, now, even though if we don't work together, you know how much I care about you. Shout out to Spiel Mozzarella. Spiel Mozzarella, what do you say? The crispy halloumet. Uh, the best, uh, every restaurant in Lebanon has like halloum uh, appetizers and stuff. Everyone does. Crepeway has the best halloum appetizer, folks. It's spicy, crispy halloumet. Try them. It's with some nice, uh, it's really good, okay? What was I saying about Bird Delicious? Oh, yeah. I think she's very <laughs> nice, okay? And I'm, I'm not, like, people are thinking that I'm out there bullying her. I'm really not, okay? I was just doing my job clarifying that Crepeway makin khassun and a ghlitna I get, every time I look through my, twi my TikTok, bro, people fucking hate me. Just let me. Pick out some choice comments. In taktir zenich, Cristel Shradi. Anna kolo kolo khaye. Ehk Arabe lama shuhay. Anyways, I did I did speak Arabic, but it was bad. Karim says mitlak mitla lahayde. Bilanda Yusuf kol khara. Bilanda ya malim. El Bilanda. Eddie, shubek enta. Khaye shu shu bullet. Is a she enta lazim tenshel men TikTok enta your podcast lazim tenshel. Someone said, I'm a shugay. Anything said, I'm fucker halak. She is a, is a, ad, a, tinted gayrak. He da mish content. Haram inta. Kol khara, Joseph Haddad. Kol khara. People are saying, you know, crap way. You know, they did pay for the ad, but you know, they're just denying it to, to distance themselves. Like, you know, like, you know, crap way got caught doing a bad ad. <laughs> crap way, folks, mata hakwe kan al crap way. Crap way would never, would never do that. They have integrity. Ooh, by the way, this is something I forgot to say last week. Kutir Zalit. I think Crepeway literally reached out to Birdalicious Talabu Minna Chil a video from her Instagram. Because when I ran into Roger Bel Jim, he was like, by the way, shady the Bird Delicious a video. He didn't tell me if Crepeway told her to remove it, but I was like, I gotta double check. She removed that video. So I have a feeling Crepeway sent like the mafia, like, hey, <laughs> get rid of that fucking video. Shut up, Rabbik. We don't wanna fucking see that thing anymore. Bro, I'm the best my wife is I think I'll never be able to know. I just the fact I know it. يعني في كثير عالم اوقات بيكون انه منيح هيك شخص بس بيعملوا باد كونتنت وانه ات از 
It happens to everyone. Subject to be criticized. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Only this, it was just funny because, you know, Crepeway, she came in at the guy, the back Crepeway was like, they're calling her the Crepeway girl now. Like, she's being literally branded as a Crepeway girl. It's like, yeah. she's, she's not the Crepeway girl. Like, <laughs> we did not even approve any of this. So, no, no, please, no. So, uh, I'm here to do my job now to rebrand Birdlicious as the Zata Ruzet girl. Poor Crepeway. Again, Crepeway did not pay me to do this or ask me to do this, folks. But I'm taking this uh, initiative myself to rebrand Good delicious. This, she looks. She did some Zata Ruzit commercials. Let's watch oh. them. Let's see if her Zata Ruzit commercials are better than her Crepeway commercials. Kamel Ghania? No, no, Mafia Ghani. Oh. Mafia Ghani. She only did that for Wish of Crepeway. Beef shawarma, واحدة من الأربع رمضان سكلت بيجي معها بواز مع كبيس وتراتور ورح زد لك عليها الإفطار بوستة يلي فيك تنزله على أي آيتم من المنيو بستة دولار بس بيجي عنا شربة عدس مع ميني فتوش واثنين سامبوسة I'm going to pause it right there. Someone reached out to me two weeks ago with some information that I don't know how accurate it is. But they quoted me, they gave me the price that Birdalicious' agency charges for a collaboration. That number might be inflated, but it could be up to $10,000. Might not be true, but keep in mind, she has 2.3 million followers on uh, TikTok. Someone like Joy Tassidis, who has 50,000 TikTok followers and like maybe 100,000 on Instagram, charges up to $600 per post. So keep that in mind. So someone with 2.3 million followers can ask for a lot of money. Let's say it's $5,000. Let's not even say it's $10,000. Would it, like you're... Like this ad cost maybe 20, this ad cost nothing. It just cost the food that is on this table. Ooh, thank you, Benzin. Like, who sell, ooh, telefon, ooh, cell phone, you know what I mean? They're paying for Bird Delicious and her audience. They're not paying for her creativity, for a crazy ad, for, for a creative ad, for nothing. They're literally paying for, you have 2 million sheep, we're just gonna make any cheap video. That's that $5,000 win, but the agency, but Bird Delicious. Well, they do the bare minimum for the business. You know what I mean? You're paying them five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, you're doing it. بيحطوا 6000 بجايبتهم 6500 6900 دولار بيدفعوا 100 دولار تعملوا لكم هيدا الفيديو انا عم تنقرته يو براندز ذير وركينج وذ ذيس اكسبنسيف انفلونسرز اند يو باينج جاد نوز هاو ماتش اماونت اوف ماني فور ذيس ادز عم تنقرته يو جيتنج شيتي جست لايك بيسك فيديوز اصلا انياك بزنس بالبني انا اي اولويز سي ات برو اون ماي ستوريز على انستغرام وين ما كان ذا ورست بزنس ايفر از ا كرييتيف ايجنسي ليش؟ لانه They don't care about your project. You know, you're just doing a project. If you don't have the money, the money, or whatever, and you know what you're talking about, the concept, it's not easy. I'm sure you're doing your job. I'm sure there's good creative agencies with good creative people that work there. But I mean, if you, there's too many creative agencies. And let's continue this video, Shwein. Now, what's the other thing? Yeah, if there's a high-protein brand. Sorry? Yes, we have high-protein brand. And not just that, we have protein for dough. She's a nice person. When you become an influencer, you basically become a mouthpiece for brands. You become that, and this is the this is the the career path. Become famous on social media, sell products. It sucks. This is why I love our Patreon. Like we yeah, we get we get sponsors from time to time. It helps pay the bills. But no, you guys are the boss. You guys. You know, I love I love depending on you guys instead of a fucking brand and having to fucking sell my soul for like to sell some fucking random ass shit when it's like, hey, you guys support us. Hone it. You become an influencer. How do you pay the bills? How do you make money off of it? You got to collaborate with brands and you start selling potato dough and salads and shawarma. And she's sweet. She's funny. Haram, she's trying to make the best out of this shitty ad by <laughs> in injecting her, her personality. People love her. Again, she has two million followers, folks. She's doing something right. People love her. You know what I mean? doesn't matter what I say. بس انه this is this is costing a lot of money man بس كمان whenever بتفوت على حيلا page لحيلا influencer بتشوف انه اخر 30 post انه دايت انه كله دايت شو هو بقى الكونتنت الكونتنت that's the thing that's this is why I never want to become young and I never want to become a mouthpiece for just brands and I love having a patreon being supported by the public that's the best thing or if we do get sponsors it's like a little sponsorship يعني نحن we have a little ad in the middle of the show doesn't affect the show I'm not here selling my soul yeah, to sell you yeah uh, sp- spinach dough or shoe exactly so let's continue this bird delicious ad هلا اللي شو اخر امنيه بدك تتمناها بهالحاله بتمنى الكل يجرب هالافطار هيدي الامنيه عليكم تو على زعتر وزيت وجربوا نيو رمضان منيو وصحتين رمضان كريم 
Zatar Uzet girl, Zatar Uzet girl, Zatar Uzet girl, folks, get crep away. Crep away. Who? What's crep away? What? Zatar Uzet. Here's another Zatar Uzet ad. Quick, 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 quick. Hi guys, I'm Alion Bezwez. Zatar Uzet, I'm going to show new iftar items. Today I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to do it. We have shawarma scallops, chicken scallop pasta, golden towel. على فكرة بعد في رابع سكلت ظبط ساعة بعد بالفريم اللي هي التشيكن شاورما كمان بينزل معهم خبز وهلا سو ذيس فيديو كلف رح نوطى شوي كلف البليتس عم بيدفعوا الشاورما بلاتر الاسكالوب سالد شو بدي بلش مش عارفة خلينا نبلش وجبة الافطار على المضبوط أول شيء السوب هيدا ايجنسي ابتدي تعال شي 5000 دولار هالدعاية سمون جست ميد لايك 5 جراند بو you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which is God bless. But if you're gonna make, if you're gonna, and the problem is the brands that are. I'm mean, fine. You, would you? Bl I, I'm not gonna blame Bird Delicious for shoving 5k down her pocket and running all the way to the bank with it. Like, hey, I fooled these motherfuckers. But so into the brands, not charge And if you see that they're making crappy ads, don't don't work with them. You know what I mean? Or be like, hey, we'll pay you. But so can you do something a little creative? Al Haram, they tried to do something creative. They sang in a restaurant with us, so. And we fucking shat on them for trying something different. Do it a good creative, yeah. So it's like lose lose. If they don't try, here I am shitting on them. They try. Okay, I'm in like musical. You shat on me. Should I do it? Maybe try hard. Do something better. Oh, even that. Like, I'm not like diet. They must be paying a lot. From when they start eating TV. They should probably overpay. But now they're under. I'm going to go extreme. The next one, but they pay 20 dollars. Should I do it? And now they're underpaying the whole crew. They're only paying like best the influencer. The agency, but the influencer, but. And the actual money that goes to the da'aya is like a sliver. That's happened. I've worked on a show before that was sponsored by like a big brand. There was a big budget for the show. The influencer, the main character of that show, pocketed like half the money, if not more. And then the leftovers were used to make the show. If the, the person had actually used that money to make the yeah. show better, it would have been a better show. But people don't think like that. They want to, they see the money, they think short term, fuck yeah, I can make money. Ooh, uh, and then... Yeah, so you end up with this stuff. Want to show Fox stars? Left my head. I don't want to watch this anymore. Anyways, Bird Delicious, خلاص. يعني God bless you. She's probably a very nice person. If we ever run into each other, she's probably gonna fucking run the other way. Can't blame her. We just have to call out the truth. You know what I mean? Yes. And you know, crap away for us. Nakilna. Good food, good mood. Is that still their slogan? That used to be, or is that Roadster? Malak, I can't. Again, tfu, a roadster, tfu, tfu, crap for you, bas. لا يا خي. لا لا roadster. Roadster, they can sponsor me. أنا خلاص أنا 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 I'm a crap boy man. I can't anymore. أنا بطل مثلاً. أنا بطل فيل. Anyways, folks, that was it. A nice, exciting episode. Arawa, you know what I mean? Just enjoying it. One thirty, one hundred and thirty times that we've done this, folks. I have sat here a hundred and thirty times and been like, "Hey guys, want to watch a stupid show?" We did it. Uh, once again, thank you to Ali Taha, our brand new blonde patron. Ali, thank you for supporting this mediocre podcast and for letting it uh, continue. Uh, let me take a second to thank some other beautiful patrons. Uh, our got your patrons, Rifat Fakih Burgery, Elian Mujabir, Jessica Ann, and Jack Sleeman. Beautiful superhero patrons like Ned uh, Jabdallah, Maroon Buslaiman, Raya D, Ahmad Al Namia, and Rami Gharib, and uh, blonde patrons like Ali Taha, JR, Alin, Fat Phoenician, Luayat Faili. Joy Tassidis, Maria Mayad, Mustafa Zalzali. Beautiful, beautiful. If you guys would like to support this YouTube channel on Patreon, uh, check it out and find a tier that is right for you. Other than that, folks, take good care and... Uh, Do not worry.